This week we picked up some expanded metal to work on the kayak camping trailer. We're going to cut it into strips today and weld it to the inside of the trailer all the way around. This will keep stuff from falling out when we're traveling. And I've got a lot of cool stuff in from Amazon that I ordered to address the issues we were having with what we were going to put at the back corners of the trailer. I think I got it figured out. Y'all stick around. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ, welcome to Kayak USA. This week, like I said, we're gonna be cutting up this expanded metal. We're gonna cut it into one foot strips and wrap it around the entire wall of this kayak camping trailer. This will keep us from losing stuff when we're going up a bumpy road from it rolling out of the trailer. And I also went with a really tight mesh so that the truck is always slinging mud up through there and getting on the kayak and anything else I got on here. This should stop some of the bigger mud from coming through and getting all over the kayak. So that's what we're gonna do today. I do wanna show you some of the stuff for next week's video which I ordered, I'm still waiting on a few things, so that's why I can't install all this today. But we're gonna finally tackle this corner issue that we've been talking about throughout this build with you guys. And what I decided to do is, I'm just gonna use this same mesh that we're using in today's video, and I'm gonna build a platform right behind the fender. And we're gonna be able to mount up some cool stuff like, I went with this, this is a solid metal LED light box. It'll protect it from us busting our lights from if I back into a tree or anything like that. And it come with these really cool LED brake lights. Now this is a blinker brake light and running light. This is all in one and it's got a little round one on the corner too. So it, you can really see the corner of this trailer really good. And it's really highly protected with this, this solid metal. And we're going to weld that up on top of the platform next week. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe for next week's video so you can catch all that stuff. I got some more cool stuff we're going to add next week. Got some marker lights. I got a pack of 10 of these amber marking lights and we're gonna mount these all the way around the trailer, wire it in with the lights so that when we're going down the road at night, if somebody hits this trailer, it's not gonna be because they didn't see it. This thing's gonna be lit up like a UFO behind the truck. So it should look pretty cool. I bought that. I bought a seven pin plug and this is the one with its own box. So this is like an RV plug. So this box we're going to mount inside of the front box on the trailer and we'll be able to run all of our wires, our running, our running lights, our reverse lights, everything to this box. And we're going to be able to hook it to the truck and power it all, power it all with the truck. Speaking of reverse lights, I had a cool idea. Uh, I didn't want to go with traditional reverse lights because I really want to be able to see behind the trailer at night when we're backing up. <clears throat> so I went with a fog light. I actually bought a pack of them. It's two of them for like 12 or 13 bucks. The reviews weren't that bad. So I'm going to try them out. But what I'm going to do is mount these up on top of our tail lights, probably something like that. And we're going to have some really nice reverse lights on this thing. So if we're backing down a boat ramp or if we're backing through the woods at night, you know, if we get camp, get to camp and it's already dark, we should be able to set up this trailer with no problem and have plenty of lights to back through the woods and stuff. So, but all of that's going to have to be next week. I did just want to kind of give you a sneak peek and show you what we're doing. I'm waiting on a few more things to come in. I'm waiting on another, I got to get another sheet of this expanded metal to go there because this sheet is 32 square foot, it's four by eight. This trailer is 13 foot long. So I've got two 13 foot walls and one five foot wall which is 31 square foot because it's only a foot tall. So I've got to be careful today and make sure that I cut this perfect so that, because this I think this sheet was like $105 or something like that. So it's pretty high, but we're going to get it cut. We're going to get it all welded up in today's video. It should work out good as long as I cross my fingers, don't mess up on any cuts, but that's what we're going to do today. But before we get into that, you're probably wondering why I've got a Jackery sitting here. Don't click past this just because you think it's a promotional thing or an ad because you might miss out. Jackery is the sponsor of today's video. This is their ninth year anniversary and they want to celebrate. So from between October, no, no, between September 20th to October 18th, I believe, they're going to be having a contest and anybody can enter to win Jackery stuff. So that's four weeks and every week, they're going to be choosing photos. And what you do to enter is you go out to a place you've never been, just go explore, you know, somewhere on the lake or in the woods or whatever, take a really cool picture of yourself in that area, go to jackery.com. I'll have the link below and you can enter their contest by submitting your, submitting your photos. And what they're going to do is everybody who comes there is going to get to vote on different photos that they like. And each week they're going to give away six prizes. So they're going to be giving away jackeries and solar panels and stuff like that. So, you can enter that. I think you can upload up to three photos on their website within those dates. 
and each week they're going to announce winners on that following Monday. They're going to contact the winner and they're going to ship them out a really cool prize pack from Jackery. So if you want to get involved on that, get your hands. If you've never had one of these Jackeries, they're amazing. Look for another video. We're going to take this camper out, this kayak camping trailer out camping. And I'm going to show you guys, I think next week or the week after, how we can we're going to power this whole setup using just a Jackery and four solar panels. So it's going to be really cool, but enter in that, make sure you get it, get your photos, go somewhere really cool, take the pictures. It's not that hard and you can win yourself a Jackery. Happy anniversary, Jackery. Thank you for sponsoring today's video and let's get into cutting. All right, so that took way longer than I thought it was going to. This is actually the next day. I worked on this thing late into the night last night. I just got home from work and finished doing a few things that I wanted to kind of button up before I filmed the outro to this. As you probably noticed, I didn't do any welding. I decided to go with the self-tapping screws. So I'm gonna walk you around the trailer real quick and show you why I did that and what I've got planned for the future the reason that I didn't do the welding, if that makes sense. Let me show you. So if you notice, I went through and I put those self-tapping screws. I'm gonna try to show you most of them that I did there. But I went with this for a couple of reasons. One, it was way easier than welding and dragging the welder all the way around this trailer to get all these spot welds done. But another reason was I got to thinking if I wanna make changes to this trailer, in the future, uh, I'm gonna have to come back through and grind every weld you know, for the area that I wanna take this stuff down. Cause knowing me, I'll probably make some changes to this thing along the way and this will make it a lot easier. Plus if I mess one of these up, if I bend it or kick it in, I can replace it really easy. So to keep from the screws just sticking out, if you notice, I put all of the self-tapping screws in where there's a little V. So the little support, let me show you on this side. So the braces on the trailer are these little angles. They're two inch angles and they're 
pointed out so I'm able to use the inside of that so you don't see any of the screws except for a couple where I couldn't do that so as you've seen you'll see a couple little grind spots right there and right there that's a couple of areas where I had to use the self-tapping screws where I didn't have a support there's another one right there if I can get it to focus on it I don't know why it's not focusing but I, I had a couple of those that I had to do and the rest of it wasn't that bad it, all the other ones as you can tell they went right in in the little support areas where it didn't really matter and now my plan is to paint everything but I'm gonna wait off on the plant on the painting until we take care of this area right here next week everything that I ordered should be here in the next couple of days and we're gonna fabricate a box if I can show you here it's gonna come right down through here we're gonna remove these lights and it's just gonna it's not gonna be a box it's gonna be a step and it's gonna be made out of the same mesh and then we're gonna put our new LED light box right there on the corner so we're gonna do that to both sides and that'll give us a really cool place to put like our propane tank and stuff like that because I do plan on adding a table if I can show you let's see with my finger I want to put a table right in between where we built this awning rack that folds down and I figured if we can mount a propane tank right in here somewhere that when we fold this down I can throw my little camp stove on the table while we're camping and just quick connect it straight to the propane and make it kind of an all-in-one little kitchen area for when we're cooking so that it should work out pretty good I like the way this mesh looks and it's going to help protect the kayak from getting a ton of mud slung up on it when we when we're up on the mountains and stuff so I do want to get your guys's opinion on one thing my original plan is to paint all this mesh black so that it kind of blends in with the trailer and but after getting it up here and seeing the contrast between that silver look and the black it kind of looks good I don't know how well you can tell on camera but the contrast in between that silver and the black I don't know it looks good but I'm sure it'll look good black too plus it'll be easier to do if it's black I won't have to do no taping off but let me know in the comments what you think I should do about that should I make that mesh a different color to kind of make everything pop or should I just go black with everything because next week we're going to be adding more mesh and that's when we're going to do the painting I'm not going to do any painting yet because I want to do all of it at the same time I want to sand the trailer down real good and then if you're still watching I'll give you a couple of hints on what's coming up in the future for this thing I'm going to be putting an electric uh, jack on the front because this thing is getting a little bit heavier. I'm looking into trailer lift kits. Now, nothing crazy, but I do want to put some bigger tires and wheels. I want them to match my truck. So I'm looking into maybe putting a little bit bigger, maybe some heavier leaf springs or something like that back here just to stand it up a little bit taller and put some matching tires i'm running bfg ko2s on the tacoma i kind of want to put some of those on here and make it match so that is coming we're going to add the lights hopefully next week everything should be coming in the next day or two and yeah that is going to do it i hope you guys are liking this build so far if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to help support the channel you can always click the join button and become a member of the yak squad that's my followers they help me out you know it's i think it's like four or five dollars a month and you're able to support my channel and help me keep making videos like this and putting in the work and the content for you guys so that's going to do it for this week's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will catch you next thursday at two o'clock peace